Lita here and today I thought I would do a really neutral look and then give you three lip options um, to change it up with. Does that make sense? I'm not sure it does. Anyway, three lip combos, one nude, one mauve, one vampy coming up. So for the sake of time today, I've done my uh, foundation. All, basically, I've done everything, including blush, highlighter, all of that. We're gonna just focus on the eyes and lips today. So I'm gonna get started. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Naked 2 palette today. I haven't used Urban Decay's Naked 2 in a long time, and it was the first palette I ever got. So I've used it quite a, quite a lot. So I'm gonna start by going into this color called Tease, which is this matte color as my transition color. I'm just gonna take that into the crease. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe M200 and just really give that a good blend. Now I'm going to go into this shade and it's called Busted. And I'm going to do that to the um, kind of outer crease. And these shadows are really pigmented, so you gotta be careful. Now with my e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm going to go into this color and it's called Chopper. I'm going to place this on the inner part of the lid. Then I'm going to go into this color called YDK. Actually, I like that so much I'm going to just cover up that other color because I didn't like it. Chopper's going bye bye. We're going to do YDK all over the lid. Now I'm going to give that all a quick blend. And then I'm going to take that darker color that we put in the crease called Busted and I'm going to do that on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go into the black in this uh, palette and it's called Blackout. And I'm just going to do that in the kind of the outer V. I'm going to take a bit of that YDK on the lower lash line in the inner portion. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to use uh, Half Bake. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to go in with this color called Foxy, which is just a matte cream. And I'm going to run that along my brow bone. Now I'm going to take my Rimmel Scandalize and I'm going to do uh, the waterline uh, and I'm going to tight line as well and then I'll put a bit on the, just kind of smash it into the lash line. Now I'm going to curl my lash lashes and then I'm going to use Roller Lash by Benefit to uh, mascara them. To mascara them. For my mascara. So I'm still working without having my normal mirror, so I'm going to actually do my lashes off camera because uh, I think that'll go way smoother and then I'll be back and we'll do the lips. So now that I've got my eyes done, I'm going to give you three different options that you can do uh, for your lips. When you go with a fairly neutral colored blush and uh, neutral kind of eye tones, then you can kind of have fun and choose a lip color. Depending on your mood or whatever, you can choose something different. So I thought I'd give you three options. Today we're gonna do, the first one is gonna be a nude. We're gonna use uh, MAC Stone Lip Liner and NYX Pinky Beige. And then I'm gonna put CoverGirl uh, number 230 creme over top of it. And then to finish this look off, I'm going to use NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, if I can get it open. 
So that's look number one complete. Now let's go on to lip number two. So the next look that I'm going to do is a mauve look. So I'm going to use Mac Stone Lip Liner again and Sephora's Cream Lip Stain in number 13. So that's the next look. What do you think of the mauve? Which one do you like the best? Now we're gonna move on to the very last one, which is a vampy lip. Wipens the stuff off. Uh-oh. This stuff is a lip stain. They call it a lip stain for a reason. I'll be back after I've rubbed these suckers clean. Now, last color I'm going to go with is this NYX, um, what is it called? It's a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and it's in the shade Copenhagen. So I'm going to use MAC um, Burgundy Lip Liner and then Stone to kind of top it off. And so this uh, completes the three looks with the uh, red vampy one. We'll see how that soft lip, matte lip cream does. Not quite sure if it dries down. It's, it feels like it's starting to dry down. So that's a good thing because otherwise it'll slip all over the place. Uh, so three looks, let me know which one you like the best. Did you like the nude one, the mauve one, or the vampy one? The cool thing is, is that you can wear, uh, you can mix and match, do what, uh, it kind of turns your crank for the day uh, and it just gives you some different options. So play around, have fun, and we'll talk to you soon.